All right. Hello, hello. This is my first live, and I don't even know if anyone's going to hop on, but um, I figured that this would be really fun to do my first live. Even if when I get, even if I get one person, I think that that'd be super fun. I don't know. I've never done it before, so um, I'm just going to dive right in. Um, and today, I wanted to just hop on here. I have a meeting actually in like two hours. Um, where I am going to be meeting with a new couple for 2023. And so I figured it'd be really fun to, to basically share um, how we do our consults and how we do our bookings, because um, as a top team in Baltimore, we, 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 we meet with a lot of people. And so I just wanted to share basically what we do and how we do it. And so last week, um, I was doing a video that's coming. Uh, you're actually, you guys will actually see it next week. It's called The Wedding Boom. Uh, it's going to be talking all about the wedding boom, what it is, how it affects our business. But I kind of wanted to go ahead and do how we actually book weddings in the middle of the wedding boom and how we like navigate sales and all of that. And so um, here's basically what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start at the beginning and then work our way through all the way until the end. So first and foremost, obviously the inquiries that we get. Uh, a lot of people use Wedding Wire, the not. Uh, we do bridal shows. Uh, we get a lot of referrals from past couples. So at some point, someone hears about us and then goes to our website or sends us a DM on Instagram and basically, uh, obviously get like they request info. And so we feel like right off the gate, we have a really amazing opportunity to reply and to give them a really great experience from like step one, which really step one is them seeing our website or seeing our Instagram page um, or feed. But then once they actually email us and there's like their first interaction, we want it to be really awesome. So first and foremost, we actually have a template email. Um, the template email basically gives them um, really basic info regarding like price point, like where they can expect to like start, how much they can expect to spend with us, um, the experience that we offer, what's included. Some people would say that's like a lot to give them from an inquiry before talking to them, but I call it qualifying the client. I love to qualify people first to get them information because if someone's budget is not what I charge, I don't need to spend a whole hour spending time with them only to basically find out that they can't afford me, right? And so we like to do something called qualifying the client. Qualifying the client allows them to see what they can expect to spend at minimum, uh, what's included, and that really, really helps them from the result or uh, from the standpoint of a new inquiry uh, entering this multi-billion dollar wedding industry. Um, so with that said, um, we, we, that, that initial email covers some booking rate stuff. What, uh, what's next step? Next step would be if we fit their price point that we actually set up a zoom call or an in-person meeting if they're local to where we are. Okay. So from there, after the inquiry, after the contact form, after they get our template email, that sounds really personal, even though everybody gets it. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, they all get it. It's very personalized from the standpoint of we're excited. Here's our pricing, what you can expect to, uh, you know, spend with us. Um, ah, oh, hi, Carla. Hello, hello. You, one of my grooms just hopped on. Amazing. Um, but basically, yeah, we want to, we want to qualify the clients. We want, we want to honor their time. We want them to know what they can expect to spend with us. And then once we actually book the zoom call, this is where it gets really, really, really fun. So basically, um, once we have the zoom call set up, I try to do it during business hours, but I also realize that people work full time. So they may not be able to do a meeting with us until after their work day. So during the week, we find ourselves working till like eight o'clock sometimes uh, just because of trying to schedule multiple inquiries and consults with people. So once we get on the Zoom call with them or the in-person meeting, uh, right before the meeting happens, we actually send them our full pricing guide. We love them to go into the meeting, not, uh, not feeling like intimidated of like, oh, what are they going to talk about? Or like, what are they going to, what's involved? The pricing guide, you guys, and I'll send a link below um, just to like a few sample pages and I can put some, I think I can add it here. I don't know. It's like, I don't know if this is like a YouTube video where I can add images now or later, but basically um, it has a little bit about us, information about our history, how we got here. It has information about our business, how many weddings we've shot, uh, and then it goes into pricing, okay? Um, and like the options, the add-ons, things you can opt out of. Because if they see that beforehand, you guys, they go into the meeting being like, oh, like I know what the photographer is going to talk about, okay? So 
they get the t- they get the welcome email that um, they book the Zoom call. The Zoom call confirmation. We send a pricing guide, um, and then we get on the call. And guys, the call is super, super, super fun. Uh, the first like ten minutes is more of a get to know. We 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 always confirm wedding date. Um, to make sure that we 100% are available. It's pointless to do an hour call or a 30 minute call only to realize that you're already booked, right? Don't waste your time. Don't waste their time. Um, So we confirm the call. The second thing that we do is we get to know them a little bit. We ask them questions about their life. We ask them questions about their engagement. And then we share our story a little bit about how we got here. Uh, That's things that are unique to us because every wedding photographer has a different story. All of us are doing this for different reasons. Um, you know, or, or got into this career by accident or intentionally. And so we just like them to have kind of things that they can relate to. Um, I'll give you a, like a really great example. Uh, uh, two hours ago, I had a console. I have two more later today, but the one I had earlier today, um, they don't follow us on Instagram, but the groom had a Toyota shirt. We love Toyota. We like all of our cars are Toyota. And so as soon as I saw it, I was like, wait, do you guys drive Toyotas? And they were like, yeah, we love them. And it was already out the gate, this like really cool relatable thing that wasn't weird. It wasn't sales. It was simply like, oh, we both like, oh, I hit the mic. Sorry. We both love like the same thing. And so, um, that's like just a relationship plug relationship piece, um, As we go through the meeting, you guys, after we get to know them a little bit, the next thing we do after we share our story is we dive into the pricing guide. We skip half of it. We skip actually probably over half of the pricing guide, the thing that I had already sent them, because I want them to take the time. This isn't, you know, booking your wedding photographer isn't buying a Starbucks drink, right? It's not this like rash haste decision. It's, I mean, I'm sure some people take like 15 minutes to order a drink, but with wedding photography, it's a huge investment. And so we, we invite them to interview other people. We invite them to like do their homework and to see that like, one, we're not the only talented team in Baltimore, but two, none of us does, we, none of us do business the same way. And so, um, and our experiences, our packages are different. And so that's really important. It's not cookie cutter. You know, it's not cookie cutter. If you're a photographer watching this, you do it, you do really well. No one can do it like you do. And so, um, that's what you want to convey. Okay. Something huge that I do. Um, I, I don't know if everyone does this. I think maybe some people have in their head that they have to get the yes on the phone. I think with wedding photography, that's not the case unless they've been following you for on Instagram. Like we have people who follow us for years and then they get engaged and they know that they want us. That's a little bit different when it comes to wedding photography. I tell them up front that they don't give me a decision on the phone. Do you know what that does? <sighs> they can breathe. They can actually absorb. They don't feel they're not on the defense that they have to be like, oh, this girl's going to like push me into hiring them. No, we let them We take notes. They take notes. We answer questions. We ask questions about their day. Um, But we give them a few days to process. We just feel like it's healthy for everybody. I hang when I hang up those Zoom calls, I send them a couple galleries, most recent galleries. So they have real life, real clients that are recent that were delivered maybe last week or the week before to a real couple. And then that way they can see our most current work. Obviously, the blog and the website's beautiful, right? It's hopefully up to date, but I think that it's really the follow-up email that has a sample contract. Uh, It has recent weddings, uh, or sorry, recent wedding, a recent engagement session. Those are three things that we send them. And then we basically say, balls in your court, have a great week. We'll follow up in a week. The follow-up guys is really important. We all live really fast paced lives. And so I just want to encourage you that like when you are doing your consults, um, Just take a note that you had a meeting and then on your Google calendar or on your note, whatever, your paper calendar, be sure to like put a note for a follow up for that client because life gets crazy. We get inquiries. The wedding boom's real. Our our life is crazy. COVID restrictions are coming off. People are starting to resume life a little bit. And because of that, um, it's really easy to go into next week and totally forget that you had a bunch of calls last week. Um, You told that client you were going to be following up. And so... um, Anyway, be sure to whatever you promise, be sure to do. If you tell them you're going to send them an email, send them an email. Uh, If you have to do it at 2 a.m. and schedule it for 8 a.m. the next morning, do it. Like just make that client a priority because that response time also tells them like what they can expect in the future. If you tell them you're sending an email in 15 minutes and they get it three days later, how does that equate to like their wedding? 
right? If you're like, oh, I'm going to send your timeline. I know your wedding's Friday uh, and you don't send it. And then your wedding, the wedding day comes and you're bringing the timeline to the wedding. Like that's a problem, you know? So um, anyway, that's basically how my consults go, you guys. So like I said, there's an initial inquiry that probably came from Instagram or our website. We qualify the qu client next. Uh, if they qualify, you know, obviously if they we vet them and they're like, great, we want to meet with you, that tells me that they can afford me. And it also tells me I can send them more substantial pricing. I send that to them ahead of the meeting. Then I have the meeting in person or on Zoom. Then during the meeting, I make it known that there's no decision needed on the phone, but this is an educational, it's informative. And then when we hang up, I basically right beforehand tell them that I'm going to follow up with them in a week if I don't hear from them. So I make, I give them, I basically make sure that they know that the ball is in their court to make a decision. If they don't make a decision before that week, they can always tell me. If they don't email me, they're going to get an email from me. So there's a follow-up piece in that that's super important. So guys, that is my um, my consult process and how to book people. 